On November 21, 2022, a 5.6 magnitude earthquake killed at least 260 people and left hundreds injured on Indonesia's main island of Java. Termed a shallow quake, it struck at a depth of 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles. The hardest hit was the city of Kianjur in West Java. It also left hospitals in Kianjur without power for several hours. The magnitude of earthquake would typically be expected to cause light damage to well-built infrastructure. According to US Geological Survey, there is not one magnitude above which damage will occur. It depends on other variables such as the distance from the earthquake, what type of soil you are on and building construction. In Indonesia, apart from damage to roads and bridges, dozens of buildings including Islamic boarding schools, a hospital and other public facilities were severely hit. Experts said proximity to fault lines, the depth of the temblor, and buildings not being constructed using earthquake proof methods were factors in the devastation. They say that the worst affected area happened to be close to several known faults. A fault is a place with a long break in the rock that forms the surface of the earth. When an earthquake occurs on one of these faults, the rock on one side of the fault slips with respect to the other. As many buildings in the region were not quake-proof, it turned a quake of this size and depth even more destructive. Indonesia is no stranger to natural disasters like this though. It is vulnerable because of its location being on the arc of volcanoes and fault lines in the Pacific Basin known as the Ring of Fire.